Great, so we're going to do a chest and back routine today and um, we normally start this one with uh, dips which is for the lower chest. So the key really to our program is to really make sure that you're keeping all of your mind or focusing all of your mind on what we're doing so you really pay attention and that gives you this great mental effect where it's almost like a form of meditation because all of your mind is paying attention to what you're doing and when that happens you're letting go maybe of all the different things that might be running around in your mind, all the different type of thoughts or things that might be stressing you out or worries, etc. So by really focusing on what you're doing, it's like a form of mental relaxation. So we're really gonna pay attention. So the chest and back workout is very good because we're gonna focus on the major muscles. We're gonna do a bit of posture work, which is really great for helping to get the shoulders back to improve your posture. And everything we're doing is really try and get you more upright, get everything back, like I said before. Okay, so the first exercise is a dip, which is dips which are for the lower chest. So you can do dips for the back of the arms, which is a tricep dip, and this one is slightly different. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So you need two chairs for this. Now to do it, you can either have the chairs facing forward, and you just put your hands on the front of the seat, your feet out in front of you if you can, and then you're letting yourself all the way down, and then you press with the chest. So all the way down and then press to the chest. If you need a little bit of assistance, you can bring your feet more underneath you, obviously, and then you can use your legs to help you. Or you can do it with the back of the chairs opposite each other like so. Okay, great. <coughs> so, and you can suspend yourself between them. So if you really want to challenge. This is then we're going to do for the lower chest. So we're going to do sets of 10 repetitions. So when you're ready, whatever way you can manage it, if you're going to use the back of the chairs, just make sure that they're nice and sturdy. Okay, great. So when you're ready, <coughs> off you go. So you let yourself down and then press up. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, good. One more, right down, and pressing up. Brilliant, okay, great. So you should feel that on the lower part of the chest. And to really get it, you just let your arms a little bit more forward, and then you're pushing that way. Okay, so we're just gonna allow a few seconds just to get a little bit of recovery in the muscle fibers, and then we're gonna do our second set. Okay, great. So when you're ready, set number two. See if I have a second towel, I don't. Okay, good, off we go. So let's do it, 10. So down and then press up, one, two, three, four, That's it, keep going now. And then, brilliant. Well done, you really feel that in the chest. It's such a great exercise. Okay, we're gonna do fun final set. See if I have a second towel. Okay, good. So maybe this one, I'm gonna bring your feet maybe more in front of you. And uh, that will allow you to have a little bit of assistance from your legs. Okay, so like so, last set, off we go. So down, I'm trying not to use the legs. That's it. Good. Six, low as you can. That's it. Good, one more. Right down, and pressing up. Brilliant, well done, that's very good. Okay, so the second uh, exercise that we do is called a reverse pullover. Really, really good for your posture. It's one that you should always include in a chest and back workout. Okay, <coughs> so. You can do this lying on the floor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your arms in a diamond shape. So that means like so. And you're gonna start above the chest, lying on the floor, back of the hand and the palm of the other, and then back over the head, pressing into the floor. And you're gonna keep your back flat at the same time by bringing your knees to a tabletop position. So starting here, inhale, and then exhale, and then press right into the floor. Now you can also do this against the wall, which I'm going to show you. You hold it for five and then you release. Okay. 
the old time is against the wall like so going to be in a semi seated position back flat against the wall so no space no gap starting here inhale and we're going to start when you're ready inhale exhale back try and get to the surface really press and release we're going to do five of these inhale exhale breathe this is so good for your posture good release inhale exhale back that's it now really try and press hard as you can that's it and then back good two more inhale exhale back that's it really try and open everything up now you got to keep your back flat okay one more inhale and push back that's it press keep going and release very good okay so what you're going to find is if you don't have much mobility as you get your shoulders back you're going to bring your you're going to arch your back slightly so you want to just keep making sure you flatten it okay so second set now swap the hands over and we're going to go again so inhale exhale try and really push the top hand into the bottom hand that's it very good inhale exhale push back that's it now just be conscious of your back inhale push back make sure it's flattened no spaces no gaps good two more inhale exhale push back that's it push right back good last one inhale exhale push back push keep pushing good release well done excellent okay so the next one we do is um, a press up again very good for toning up the chest so depending on your upper body strength if you're lacking a little bit of upper body strength which is quite normal you're going to do you keep your knees on the floor you can keep your feet off the floor cross your ankles let yourself down forehead to the ground and then press back up again so down and then press back up again okay good those are a little bit more strength knees off the ground let yourself down and then press up try as many as that way as you can and if you need to bring your knees down that's fine so we're going to do 12. so when you're ready it's a great way to start monday off you go so down and press now really try and focus on pushing with the chest so control on the way down nice and explosive on the way up one more Well done. Okay, you're going to give it a few seconds. So the second set I'm going to do, we're going to do my feet elevated, which is a decline press up, but it's like an incline bench press and it hits more the top of the chest. Okay, good. So second set, so like so. It's just good, good to vary the exercise a bit. Inhale, off you go. That's it. So two more, one more. Well done, brilliant, very good. Okay, so you should get a good pump on the chest. Feel a tightness, the muscle tightening up a little bit. I'm gonna do this one a little bit narrower with the hands and that'll hit more the middle of the chest. So it's good to vary the hand position, vary the way you do each set and that shocks the muscle a little bit and produces more growth hormone, which is what we're trying to do to tone the body up and burn fat. Okay, good, so final set. When you're ready, off you go. That's it, keep going now, two more, one more, brilliant excellent very good 
Okay, so now we're gonna work on the back. So this is good if you have a resistance band, but dumbbells, kettlebells, or homemade weights. So we have bags of books, and uh, this is called a bent over row. So you're gonna bend the knees a little bit, protect the back. You're gonna be bent over about 45 degrees. Drop your arms down, and then you're gonna pull with your back, and then get the arms up as high as you can, and then back down again. So you're working the lat muscles here. So a resistance band is good, you just put it under your feet, try and make it as even as you can, um, and it looks like so. So I stand on the band. This one's good because it's got a closed loop at the top. So you inhale, and then exhale, pull with the back. Good, off we go. So we're gonna go for 12. Two. Three. Four, that's it. Good, now retry and pull with the back first, rather than the arms. One more. That's it. Well done, very good. Give it a few seconds and we'll go again. Very good. So try and keep the intensity level up. So do try and pick a weight where you're really not managing any more than about 12 repetitions. And it's actually good if you had a heavy enough weight that you could only do maybe eight to 10. Okay, second set. When you're ready, inhale, exhale, pull. Good. All right, good, keep going now, pull with the back. Try and feel the lats working. That's it. Very good. Two more. One more. Well done, excellent. Very good, so if you have the TheraBand or you've got the tubes with the handles on the other end, that's fine. Sometimes you might want to loop the, the band around your feet so you just get a bit more resistance. Or if you spread your feet wider, it'll create more resistance in the bands. Good, okay, final set. Well done. When you're ready, off we go. Go. That's it. Three, try and pull with the back. Four. Good. That's it. Two more. One more. Very good, well done. Okay, now we're gonna do something else for posture. And this is called a press behind back. This is very good in, in a gym. If you have something where you can actually push a weight down behind you. But um, in this case, we're gonna use a towel. And you're gonna grab the towel about quite narrow. So just about hip width distance apart or even a little bit narrower. And I want you to start with the towel up as high as you can on the, mat, on the back as you can manage. And then inhale, and then exhale, push the towel and your shoulders down and back. Okay, and then keep tension on the towel at the same time. Okay, so when you're ready, off we go. Inhale, and then exhale, press. We're gonna do 10, one, two, three, four, good. Good. Now retry and press everything down. Seven. Keep the head back. You look at the ceiling. Nine. One more. Ten. Very good. Excellent. That's very, very good. So it does make a difference if you can keep the tension on the towel. Okay. Set number two. When you're ready, nice and high. Inhale. Exhale, press back. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Good. Now really try and press down as hard as you can. 
Eight, good. Two more. One more. Very good. Well done. Good. So I almost try and imagine I bring my shoulder blades together and then I run them down my spine. So I'm really trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together, even at the bottom of the movement. And then really press the shoulders as hard as you can down. And that'll engage the muscles in the back. Okay, final set. When you're ready, inhale, exhale, press. Two, three, four. Good. Thanks. Good, two more. Good, one more. Good. Right, now we're going to do a seated row. This is again very good for the lat muscles. Good for really getting the shoulders back. So you can use a towel if you don't have a resistance band. You're going to use a towel to create resistance. And your leg is going to do most of the pushing and pulling. Okay, so how this works. Knees on the mat. I'm going to wrap a towel in around the ball of your foot like so. You start with your leg stretched out, leaning forward, inhale, and then exhale, pull. So your leg should just glide about just over the mat, and then you press back out again with the leg. So your leg is creating resistance on the way back, and then on the way out, your leg is creating resistance by pushing out. Otherwise, you can keep the leg still if you've got a band. Grab the band quite, uh, with your hands quite close together. Wrap it around the foot. Inhale, exhale, pull. Okay, so whichever way you're gonna do it, we're gonna to do sets of eight. Inhale, and then exhale, pull. That's it, right forward. Exhale, pull, two, good. Three, good. So you can create a lot of resistance with the leg and the towel. All right, good, so it should be difficult, not impossible. All right, good, that's it. Good. Good, one more. Nice, good. Okay, switch over to the other leg. Inhale, exhale, pull. One. Two. That's it. Three. Four. Good, that's it. Good. Okay, two more. One more. Right forward and then pull. Good. Well done. Ease out your forearms if you need to. And then switch back to your starting leg. Okay, off we go. Inhale. Exhale, pull. So try and pull with the shoulders and the back. Rather than just pulling with the arms. If you're just pulling with the arms, your shoulders will stay forward. Try and get the shoulders right back. Good. That's it. Good. Nearly there. Good. One more. Good. Well done. Okay. Switch over. Right, inhale. Exhale. Pull. That's it. Very good. Good, keep going now. Good. There's one more. Well done. Excellent. Okay. So, a couple of seconds, and then we're just going to go for the final step. Hope the sound and everything is okay. Okay, inhale, pull. One. That's it. Three. Good, try and pull the hands in quite low. Four, good. Five, good. Last three. Two good ones. Good, one more. 
Good. Okay, final set. Okay, when you're ready, inhale. Exhale, pull. That's it. Good. Last five. More. Good. Last three. One more. Well done. That's very good. Okay, now we're gonna do something for the lower back. So we do a yoga posture called the Cobra, which is very good for your lower back. Helps with mobility, helps with strengthening it. It's also very good for targeting the adrenals, which is very good for dealing with stress. And uh, it looks like this. So you're gonna lie on the mat, or on the floor and bring your hands in underneath your shoulders like so okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to inhale exhale empty the lungs and then inhaling lift with the lower back so that your hands are not beating you're not using your arms then you're going to use your arms a little bit to push as far as is comfortable so don't come too far up if it's not comfortable exhale inhale Hold it for a split second, and then down. Exhale as you come down. Okay, good, so we're gonna do five. So exhale first. Inhale deeply. Lift with the back. Lift with the arms. Exhale. Good, so keep looking forward, shoulders down. Inhale. And then exhale as you come down. Very good. Okay, so number two. <coughs> Sorry, exhale first. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Lift. Lift. Exhale. Good. Inhale deeply. And then exhale as you come down. Very good. It's two. Okay, three more. Exhale. Inhale. Very good. Very good. Two more. Inhale. Good, one more. So exhale. Inhale deeply. Lift. Good, inhale. And all the way down. Okay, good. Good, but gently. Push yourself onto all fours. Your wrists should be underneath your shoulders and your knees should be underneath your hips. Then you're gonna inhale and exhaling, you're gonna push yourself back towards your heels. And then really keep pushing back, bring your forehead to the mat and then bring your arms behind you. So this helps to open up the back, it's called child pose. And we're gonna hold this position for just about a minute. It's good time. As you inhale through the nose, and then exhale gently through the mouth, gently and slowly. Inhale deeply, fill the lungs. When you really feel the lungs, you'll feel your lower back opening out. So the cobra compresses the spine a little bit, and this helps to open it up again. That's very good. Very good. Big deep breath in. And exhale gently. 
Hotel. And good time to run your mind from your feet all the way to the top of your head to see if there's any tension. Go through each part of the body individually. Down your arms. Make sure there's no tension in the tummy, the fingers, the forehead, the toes, the feet. All the way. Okay, one more. Last one. Very good. And then just gently push yourself back onto your heels. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna do a quick ab routine. This ab routine is very, very good because it's extremely active. So we're gonna try and hit the abdominals from all different angles. And that's very good for activating them. Okay, so the ab routine starts with simple crunches. So you're gonna lock your fingers behind your neck. Bring your feet as close to your hips as you can manage. Keep your chin in your chest, inhale, and then exhale, squeeze. So we're gonna go for 20 crunches. The most important thing is to keep tension on the tummy and keep moving. Just keep going. That's it. So even if it begins to burn a little bit, keep moving. Good. So squeeze control. Squeeze control. Good. That's it. Good. One more. Now we're going to go side to side. So keep moving. Elbow towards the opposite knee. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Six. Good. Keep the fingers locked behind the neck. Keep the chin in the chest. Good. That's it. Good, keep going now. One more. Very good. Okay, now the third set is up and over. Keep moving. One. So you come just a little bit further outside the knee. But it is up and over. More. Good. Try and really feel this in on the sides. And try not to pull with the upper body. That's it, very good, keep going now. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Good, one more. Right up. Okay, now knee raises. So cross your ankles, bring your Knees, legs to a tabletop position, arms to our side, head off the ground, and bring your knees towards your chest, and then control to the starting point. Two, that's it, three, four, good. So really try and control them back down, and don't go beyond the starting point. You're not trying to get any momentum. Good, so the more the tummy's doing the work, the better. Ten, good. And then drop your knees to the side, so one side at a time, and ten. Same movement. Two. Three. That's it. Four. Five. Six. Very good. Eight. Two more. One more. Good. Knees to the other side then. Two more, one more, brilliant, well done, bang on ace clock, well done everybody, that's very good, that ab routine is really, really good, even if you did it a couple of times a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, you really notice a difference to your waist, obviously to get the waist to really shrink and to tone up, you really need to focus on the nutrition, so we do do consultations online or obviously in our gyms and uh, we'll help you with nutrition and diet. Um, we also do a nutrition event Wednesdays with Martin Ford, 12 o'clock, and uh, it's Facebook Lives, but you can catch up with them on Facebook. They're, re they're always recorded, and we cover some brilliant topics to do with health, so everything from how much protein do you need, uh, what's a good source of protein, 
what type of vitamins, minerals, uh, other nutrients that you need to get from your nutrition. And then we do relaxation, 7.30 in the evening. It's actually 7.45 in the evening on Thursdays. And then relaxation is a great way, again, for tying up the mind, really good for you mentally. So we have a series of events each week. So please do tune in and make the most of them.